Tony Lima was, wrote Henry Longhurst, a really splendid fellow, absolutely in the Hagen tradition of not wanting to be a millionaire, but possessed of a strong determination to live like one. His most famous victory came in the 1964 British Open at St. Andrews. For years prior to that, he was known as a fine swinger of the club with wonderful rhythm. What Tony had in talent, however, he lacked in temperament. He became a champion when he finally realized, in his own words, that missing a short putt doesn't mean that I have to hit my next drive out of bounds. Tony was a big believer in the benefits of a waggle and forward press. Those benefits were tension preventers. In the takeaway, he felt that his fingers were, quote, dragging against a force that was trying to hold the club head in place. This was his way of expressing a low, slow takeaway. It demonstrates how many great players of that era started their backswing. Tony said, quote, the left arm pushes the club head back to promote a wider arc and create maximum club head speed. During the moment of suspension, the fingers start dragging the club down. This is the signal for firming up the grip for the whiplash to come, end quote. In other words, Tony must have re-gripped slightly at the top. Notice here, when he is at the top, coming down, the right elbow close to his body, how quickly his hips turn out of the way. Bring it back one more time. The setting at the top, how the hands move inside. Club head is pulled with the left side, braced against that left heel. At impact, you can see how quickly his hips have turned. Solid contact, right shoulder bringing his head up, his hands finishing in a very high classic finish. Tony got the left heel down quickly and said that, quote, it would act as a brace for the downswing. He also thought about keeping his left arm straight for as long as he could after impact. This was his visual image for better extension. Three points to look for in this swing. The first will be the hip rotation down and through the ball. Secondly, as we see it coming back up again, is the full shoulder turn, back facing the target. Thirdly, is the high hand position. And notice how those hands coming through impact, drive towards the target with the hips pulling everything through, right shoulder bringing the head up, a high classic finish. Pure Tony Lima. Tony's swing was characterized by a dip approaching and through impact, probably a sign of how well he was using his lower body, which he did exceptionally well. Also, his dip was due in part to his super late hit, which is one of the latest of all great players very much of a lag look. Tony said, the drive is a big hit, so you should try to hit it big. In other words, let it all out.